hello guys welcome back so today uh, we have seen a contest that is uh, you can say weekly contest for one zero and uh, i have a f solution of all the questions so let's begin with one one by one question so this is the first question that we can see here uh, uh, snake in uh, n cross n matrix we have given and uh, it is saying uh, snake can move uh, in four directions right and uh, the possible four directions and each cell in the grid is identified by its positions right so uh, for the grid uh, position i and j i in into n and then plus one we have to do right means each cell in the grid we have to identify by the position that is given grid at i j is nothing but i into n plus one right so the snake start at a cell zero and uh, it's saying follows a sequence of commands so we have given an integer n representing the size of the grid and uh, each size is array of the given uh, command you can say where each size uh, each, each each command is uh, either up uh, right down or left in all the directions you can say so it's guaranteed that the snake will remain within the uh, grid boundaries or uh, throughout its movement we have to return the position of the final cell where the snake end up and uh, uh, after each execute okay <clears throat> you can see here right so this is the problem uh, statement we had gi given and what we have to do to solve this problem we need to uh, uh, do some basic uh, movement of the snake based on the given command and the grid size right so what uh, what we have to do initially we will take a uh, snake that we will start from uh, its position 0 0 and for that uh, initial position uh, at origin we can say will start at 0 0 right the first cell of the uh, uh, program you can say uh, of the grid which corresponds to uh, 0 cell right now after that once the command uh, will process so how how we have to uh, iterate so we have to iterate each command and we have to update its position means you can say command processing right how we will go so for the up you know for the up we can we can do what we have to decrease the row index by one right if anyone wants to go up right so row we have to do what we have to do we have to row decrease right so that uh, we will move up give me one second okay give me one second okay so let's uh, what i'm talking about let's suppose we have given a grid right so if uh, we want to go up right this side means we what we have if somebody as uh, let's suppose 0 1 and 2 if uh, the snake is at this position okay let's suppose if snake is here if we snake want to go up then what we have to do we have to decrease the row from row 2 to row, row 1 if we have to go up means 2 to uh, this one right means we have to do row minus one so what is row row we have x and y is a uh, you can say uh, it's uh, uh, y size right means uh, another side this one okay so we will decrease the row and uh, this is your x and this is your y right as we know that now uh, so uh, uh, but we have to also check we have to ensure that uh, it does not go below the zero right so to do that we'll uh, see later okay let's uh, go with this uh, how we are going to the right side right so we know if we have to go this side means we have to increase the y plus right so that is why we have to do y plus and no change no change in the n right so we'll keep the n exactly as we have given right now what we will do we'll move to the uh, downside so we'll increase x and we'll keep n minus 1 right with, because we have to go within the boundaries right now if uh, we have to go uh, the left side right right then we have to do y minus 1 right if we have to go uh, you, you can say down right so if we have to go down right then we have to increase the column right like that we have to do y minus 1 0 but we have to see it should not go beyond uh, beyond 0 and it should not exceed the n right if not exceeding the n then we have to say minus 1 if we are uh, not we do not want to go beyond the zero then we will put zero as you can see here for uh, uh, moving left or moving up right we will keep a zero otherwise we'll keep within the boundaries right okay so moving up 
left right these things we have to take care only so we have to maintain the conditions right and otherwise this anything is happening then we will say we have to make it a uh, invalid commands right so basically bond is condition like we have to take you can take math dot max right as you can see here right we'll take math dot max or math dot mean we have to take care of that right so snake does not go uh, you can say not move outside the grid and boundaries so for the final processing what we have to do we have to each time uh, we have to see the is, is final position and then we have to return row and column so this function is nothing array is nothing contains but row and columns right so that we have to take care of this so this this program will uh, give you the final result like this and uh, I, I hope you understand the problem so if you have any doubts in the problem please ping me in the comment box and uh, please suggest if you have any doubts in the problem and uh, please write the complexity for the uh, program right please pause the program and uh, write okay so uh, if you we'll talk about the complexity thing right so uh, for the time complexity what is the time complexity here so as you can see the current uh, solution that we have uh, like a time complexity of o of m we have let's suppose why we are saying o of m because uh, if m is the number of commands right is m, m is the number of commands right so where the number of command each command is processing in constant time right you can see here one by one we are processing in the for loop right and that is why uh, it, it, it takes o of m times right i'll take o of n times okay and there is not taking any extra spaces right it's quite a simple thing so we will say complexity is o of one right so space uh, time complexity is o of n or o of m you can say and a space complexity of o of one right so if uh, the uh, the interviewer will say you to Im improve the program uh, complexity right so yeah like uh, you should not be concerned about the performance thing because the main thing we can see it's working right then you think it's working we can yeah, optimize or not right so if you are concerned about performance right the main area to optimize uh, would be related to like uh, minimizing the commands processing like overhead so in the command implementation right each command is processed in a constant time so there is no extra overhead in the processing individual commands because we have to process it right and so it is already optimal right now we have to think about the avoiding the redundancy operations so the current solution avoid redundancy operation because uh, the operation we are using for the bondage, bondage checks only uh, here right 0 and n minus 1 right so either we'll take uh, max dot uh, math dot max or math dot mean right so we do not need require further optimization right because it's already optimal so uh, so you can directly say to the interval this solution is all is uh, optimal in terms of both uh, time complexity and space complexity for this problem and the only uh, possible optimization we could do uh, to handle the command more efficiently if there is a, a specific pattern or additional uh, constraint in the command uh, but the provided problem constraint and requirements both are the same right so uh, the current approach is already best and if there is a specific scenario where the command could be uh, batched or you can say have a pattern that could be exploited right or you can say uh, optimization might be possible but there could be uh, it depends on the additional constant that uh, or, or pattern that uh, given in the input right so in general uh, for the problem as uh, we can say here uh, uh, the uh, complexity already of m or you can say of n it is efficient or we cannot uh, uh, significantly move improve or we can say uh, for the command processing because this we have to process all the command right so the solution is already optimal and that's all for this video let's move to the another question thank you guys thank you for watching this video